Well, today was a very memorable day for Salina's Michaela Wenning. This morning, the senior signed her letter of intent to run track and field at the University of Colorado. As a state champ and the valedictorian, Wenning has accomplished so much both athletically and academically in her high school career. And as I found out in tonight's OAO prep profile, she is thrilled to have her plans set for the next four years. Surrounded by her family and coaches, Michaela made it official that she would be headed to Boulder in the fall. I really like the coaches out there, the atmosphere, um, the whole team just seemed, it, just, it was just a right fit. The coaches have like high goals for me out there and really believe in me, so um, I'm just really excited to get out there. It's a great accomplishment by her individually when you look at her career. Um, once she's valedictorian, she has maybe the highest grade point ever, average ever at Salina High School, and she wants to go into aerospace engineering. So from an academic end of it, and then to be able to throw athletics with that, going to Colorado in the Pac-12 is kind of, you know, kind of the ultimate high level of, of accomplishment. It's just the latest in a long list of achievements for winning. Along with track and field, the three-sport athlete also earned WBL Player of the Year honors in volleyball and holds school records in swimming. She's very God-gifted genetically. Um, she's 5'11". She's very strong. She's actually going to Colorado as a multi-event person in the heptathlon. And right now, high jump's her best event. That's my favorite one. Um, I, this is what I've been doing since I was in sixth grade, and it just came natural to me. Before donning Colorado black and gold in competition, Michaela has one more track and field season in green and white. Unfortunately, right now she is sidelined with a foot injury. It's possibly a stress fracture in my foot or my lower ankle, and I injured it high jumping, and now it just progressed into possibly a stress fracture. So hopefully I'll be back in the next week or two weeks. I've been in the boot for almost four weeks now. She, she struggled with, I'm not hurt, I'm not hurt, I'm not hurt. And I think her desire to be successful is what got her hurt. She was probably hurting more than she let us know, but we gotta be patient. And I, I send her notes a lot. Patience is a virtue. And that's the hardest thing when you're someone who excels at everything she does. As soon as she gets back out on the track, the reigning high jump state champ will be focused on returning to Columbus. The atmosphere at state is the best thing um, I've ever experienced. There's so many people there. To be in front of all those people and to compete your hardest and have them see what we've worked for all season is just amazing. In Salina, I'm Matt Finkel with the Sports Report.